Hi, this is Kimberly. Oh, you may or may not have noticed that I've been gone for a few days. I've had a rough go of it, and I just don't even want to talk about it, so stop asking questions, okay? Well, anyway, before I fell out, I was working on this Dog the Bounty Hunter video, and it got put aside for a few days, and now I'm back. It's kind of old news now, but in a way it's not, because he's really not made... And I don't mean this to tell me, but he's not made a lot of progress, and there's no definite clues yet. I understand he is checking in to the guy that claimed to talk to Baldo on the Appalachian Trail. I'm going to check on that, or dive into that story when I get done with this. But, you know, I was wondering, and let me know what y'all think about this. Should I get on a bullhorn and stand out in front of the dirty laundry house and just express myself about how I feel about Baldo and the parents and stuff. There's a chance I could be arrested, and I'm physically not able to do that right now. So let me know your thoughts on that. And please enjoy this video, even though it may be a little bit behind. I think it still pertains. I have everything time stamped down in the description. Much love and peace, and thank you for listening. This is totally unacceptable. I'm on my way. We are hunting Mr. Brian down. We're looking for Mr. Brian. These islands right here, there's four or five of them. We're covering them with canines. Got a bunch of volunteers out here. Most of them are former law enforcement or former Navy SEALs and Marines. And of course, we got Fox News with us. These dogs are trained to track scent, the adrenaline of a human, not like a sock and find the guy. So these dogs are incredible. Well, they went through all this. It took me an hour to go through it. it. Took that dog five minutes. So that really helps. And unfortunately, these dogs do bite. He has a private search and rescue team. It's a canine team that set out today near the Egmont Key off of the coast of St. Petersburg in Florida. Uh, there's a crew of four people. They're all carrying backpacks and other supplies they left on boats uh, with three canines. So they're going to search this entire 450 acres. We've been out here four or five hours and this hunt will probably last through the evening with the dogs. We got all the dogs out here. We've got a team. The greatest team, one of the greatest teams I've ever seen. This team's going to make my kids all jealous. Well, the process of search is a lot, of, a lot like the process of elimination. Knowing where he's not also helps us figure out where he is. They're teaming up with Dwayne Chapman to find 23-year-old Brian Laundrie. Yesterday, they spent all day on the water near Fort DeSoto, where Brian and his parents camped this month. Well, for us, because our dogs are trained to work from the boat, they will uh, we'll circle around the islands on the downwind side, uh, the smaller islands. And if there's human odor in there, the dogs will bark and let us know there's something going on. Then we'll pull in and we'll run the dogs through the island and see what we can find. The dogs gave alerts at two islands, where at one they found a campsite, kayak marks, and open drink containers. Uh, some of the uh, cans and stuff that we found, drink cans, were collected. And I guess a uh, dog will turn those over for fingerprints and stuff. So we'll see if any of that leads back to Brian. This would be and could be a perfect spot for him to hide. Dog believes at one point, Brian went to a small island called Egmont Key, possibly in a kayak, and spent the night. Although he says nothing conclusive was found yet. We've heard different rumors about kayaks being purchased, cell phones that can't be tracked being purchased. Uh, you know, it's just rumors right now, but we assume that he had a couple of kayaks, one of them for his goods and one of them for him. We've heard that, you know, someone was seen in a AT&T store buying a drop phone. Mm. So I think he's aware of it. Uh, we've set up a special tip line, 833-TELL-DOG, and we've gotten over a thousand tips so far. We discovered that on the early September, the mother and father had registered to stay at a campground and you got the name from the first to the third. And then and they stayed in campground number one. Then on the sixth through the eighth of September, 
they registered again to stay at the campground, and this time they stayed in space 15. When they came in, at least on the 6th, there were three people in the vehicle, which was the truck, you know, at the dad's house, and you have to fill out a piece of paper. Whoever filled it out said Brian, his mom, and his dad, right? When they saw the truck leave on the 8th, there was only two people in it, not three. There's hundreds of acre place that has got small islands all the way around it. So in a canoe or a, uh, any kind of little boat. What is it called? Uh, the little boat? The canoe. No, something else. This is for the ocean. You think he could be out on one of those islands? Yes. And do you have do you have surveillance video? Have you seen video of him going into the campground? No, but I've got information that they got it. This is for sure. I wouldn't bust this list without it being for sure. And did you tell the FBI? Well, who do I call? They they all oh, the authorities. The FBI's off at five. They don't work on weekends. Who do I call? So you called the authorities, though. You called police. Yes, I called some some of my friends. Yeah, that we okay. met by the dad but yes and, yeah, I mean this is for sure good absolutely positive you know they checked in there they uh, left and, and he didn't leave with them there's a huge possibility that, that yes he could be there and there's also a possibility that he was there and left but for one thing for absolutely sure he was there in September or positive. I have confirmed what Dog first told us, that the Laundry family was camping here after Brian returned from Florida without Gabby. We also confirmed today the FBI has surveillance video from the campground. I spoke to Dog's daughter, Lisa Chapman, tonight. She's helping coordinate the search. Lisa, what do you know that makes you believe that Brian Laundry is out there alive near that campground tonight? We have gotten multiple um, credible leads that we were able to verify, um, both through technology and through witnesses. So we're pretty sure that he's stashed out on those islands, stashing out in the daytime and mostly active, you know, after the parks are closed and everyone goes home. Have you seen anything out there? Has your dad seen anything that would indicate that Brian Laundrie is there? Yes, we believe we found uh, some personal items yesterday is according to Instagram pictures Brian Laundry has been to both search locations in the past this photo from February shows Brian and Gabby at the campground and I asked dog's daughter more specifically what did they find out there at uh, the campground she says that they believe they did find personal items in Brian's and an actual campsite where he was you know between September 1st and September 8th okay right after he came home from the eighth on, that's how far we are now behind him. We're getting, uh, we're, we're, I feel real good about it. We're going to catch this guy. Let's say that he was with his parents on the eighth at the park and to tell his parents that what he had just done. And it's very ironic to me uh, having 13 children that if one of my kids came home and said, dad, I just murdered my girlfriend for me to say, well, let's go fishing and camping. I mean, there's something absolutely wrong here. In a lot of states, if you tell someone, you know, I just murdered someone, and they hang around with you for days, and you keep repeating about the murder, and you don't turn them in, that means you're an accessory to murder. Yeah. Not just aiding and abetting a fugitive, but, I mean, come on. Yeah. The DeSoto campsite, they were registered to go there twice. They did see them, as far as I know, one time come in with three people on around the 6th, and they said that the mother and father left without him on the 8th. The line about three feet apart. Fox followed Dog the Bounty Hunter Wednesday as he and a private team of search crews and canines combed through small islands in Tampa Bay near Fort DeSoto Park, where the laundries are confirmed to have camped earlier in September. This is a look from the sky at the area where the laundry family camped out. You're looking at Fort DeSoto campgrounds, and this is campsite one back in the trees right in this area. What this kid is facing is death penalty. In Wyoming, 
uh, this carries uh, lethal injection. So this is not 20 year sentence, 30 year sentence, you get to come home. This is, he could be convicted and put to death. So I don't know what parent would hand their kid over ready to die. I just, you know, I, I feel sorry for the for both families, but especially for the victim's family. Uh, this is incredible. This I wish he would turn himself in because it would look a lot better on the Wyoming jury whether to decide the death penalty or not. If he runs and runs and runs, it goes to the jury in Wyoming. I don't think they'll let him live. Fox's Robert Sherman standing side by side with Doug as he and the uh, canine team comb some of the Tampa Bay's remote islands in search of Brian Laundrie. They say no big find, but some clues that have piqued Doug's interest. We're out here at the island, this would be and could be a perfect spot for him to hide. Uh, not too many people out here, but there's a lot of environmental things that we're going to fight. So here we go. The search now is really on. The search has just begun. 10 4 to 7 14, the female Roberta from that 1020 called it on 911. Uh, what's that? The address of the call, 4343. Network 10 North, where I was landline. What was that traffic? We just have the female from that 1020 call in on 911, reference the situation with the male. All right, 10 four. Yeah, it's um, once you arrive or if you're already there and the occupants are requesting us to come up and just go ahead and go to the house and assist and just to keep the peace, but they're not requesting us to come up and just stay back and make sure that uh, everything's good. 10 four, he's clear. All right, 10 four. the main subject has already cleared the scene. 10 four. All right, 10 four. just go ahead and make contact with the uh, complainant then. Oh, did the answer's up there. I find people to be so funny. You want to know why? Because y'all always be like, oh, I ain't scared of nobody. I ain't scared of nobody. I ain't scared of a lot of things, but one thing I am scared of is Dr. Bonnie Hunter. That's a real deal, Bonnie Hunter boy. That boy for real. He got 10,000 confirmed captures, boy. 10 bands. 10,000 confirmed. He's not playing with y'all boys. If anybody ever call you and say, yo, dog say he on his way to come get you. You need to get up out of that. You need to be in Thailand by then. He is a real deal bounty hunter. 10,000 confirmed. And he a real deal murderer too because he's been in prison for it. That boy's not playing. And he got an air word pass from the black tribe. Y'all boy's playing with the wrong people, I'm telling you. Dog say he on his way, get up out of that. That's a 10,000 confirmed man. He's not about to play with you, boy. I'm telling you, get up out of that when you see him.